Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Adrian. I live in New York City in a very messy bedroom and I am really tired today, but I'm not tired of lip products and that is what we are talking about. I am on day 26 of my 30 day challenge where I try to figure out what I love about some of my lip products, what I don't like. Today, I'm gonna actually talk about two lip products, which for some reason in my mind feel very, very familiar to one another. And one I've had for a little bit and the other one I recently acquired. They're kind of a soft matte long wear formula goes on liquid, kind of dries down, not all the way, but remains super comfortable. If those type of products interest you, I think these two might interest you. The products I'm talking about are the NARS Air Matte Lip Color and also the Linda Hallberg LH Cosmetics Velvet Couture Lip Cream, which also can be used as a cheek and an eyeshadow. It's kind of an all-purpose. I honestly haven't used it that way, so I'm not gonna speak to it. I have talked about an LH Cosmetics product that also called itself like a multi-use product for the cheeks and the lips, and that one I ended up testing and I did like as a cheek product. That is their fa the fantastic formula. This one's totally different though. And so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts on it. I feel like we're, I'm, I'm edging in on the end and I'm kind of pulling at scraps and figuring out what I still want to share some thoughts on. This product here, NARS The Air Matte, I had avoided purchasing this for a very, very long time. I don't know why. The shades that initially were released in the formula didn't catch my eye. I wasn't really in the market for a long wear formula. But recently, I saw NARS kind of display. I'm going to try to pull it up and insert it here. A chart explaining their lip products because they're about to release a couple of different lip products. And I'm very excited for that release because I generally love NARS lip products in particular. So I was just curious when I saw this chart, I saw them refer to air matte, I think as a, like a medium soft matte build. I, and I saw that they didn't include the soft matte balm that I, I love so much that I did a whole video on all six shades in that range. So I was like, well, maybe I should give this a shot. If this is gonna be an item that they are thinking is part of kind of their capsule collection, kind of their core collection, I should probably try it. So I did pick one up. I picked one up in the color Gypsy. It's what I'm wearing right now on my lips. It's a really beautiful, I mean, it doesn't look like the color from the packaging. This probably tells me it's like a warm pink. This is not a pink. This is more of a toasted peach color, like a soft brick. Yeah, I, I mean, I really like it because it feels very wearable. It is very wearable and it's a nice amount of pigmentation. This formula is very, very interesting. It has less slip than the Balm formula, but it has a lot of comfortability and I will just kind of freshly apply some. The packaging is like this soft matte texture. It's kind of like a, a softened terracotta with a splash of pink. There is a little bit of pink in there, otherwise it would be very orange. And I'm looking at it and it's not as orange as I would have imagined. So this formula, I don't find that it really accentuates lines or anything. Ideally, you would want your lips to be quite exfoliated and then put it on because it could catch to dry areas, but I find that it camouflages them really well. I have been wearing a lot of lipstick, trying a lot of different formulas, so my lips feel pretty beaten up. 
And even though I know there's some areas that are peeling, it's completely camouflaged them. So that is a really nice thing. Curious of any makeup that I'm wearing on my face, I will list everything down below. I'm trying a new eyeshadow palette that I'm liking and I am very flush today. So this is, this is not all the blush. This is the fact that I've eaten a lot of onions today. And when I eat a lot of raw onions, a flush takes over my face. <laughs> oh, it's terrible when you like foods that don't like you. There's a little bit of a dry down to this formula, but it's not a complete dry down. You see, it does transfer, but it's a very soft transfer and there's a lot of product left behind. So this wear down is truly like a blotted lip wear down. And I think it's a, it's a very nice formula. I am not sure why I avoided this. I almost feel like this could make for also a really pretty blush. I'm gonna have to experiment with it, but it feels like the type of formula that would actually work. It doesn't have a lot of emolliency, but at the same time, it gives you some movement. I could just, I could tell this is this was gonna be an interesting blush and I'm gonna have to experiment with it. Let me wipe down what's on my lips and I will talk about the Linda Hallberg product. The Linda Hallberg Velvet Couture Liquid Lipstick. I have mine in deep pink. By the way, there was no scent on the NARS one and there's no scent on this one either. This one also has an extremely thin formula. If I didn't make a mention of that of the NARS, the NARS has a very, very thin formula as well. This one's a tiny bit more liquidy. So that is deep pink. I don't think it's that deep. I think it's a nice neutral rose. It's a very pretty nude rose. Very, very pretty. I don't, I don't know that I have a shade exactly like this one. I will go on a swatching extravaganza at the end of these 30 days and really figure out like where I have dupes, but I don't know. This doesn't feel like a familiar color to me. It feels almost like a color I would never gravitate towards, but then once I have it in my life, I'm happy to have it because I think it's a very flattering day nude. What is interesting about this formula is I think I actually got this in a kit when I ordered a bunch of LH Cosmetics products and I was a little like not excited necessarily about getting this lip product. I was much more interested in the Fantastic lips and when I received this and I put it on, I was really surprised. Number one, at really beautiful and natural looking it was, but also about its wear time. This has an extraordinary wear time, but it doesn't feel like it has any type of severe dry down. It does have a dry down though, but it leaves almost like a comfortable cream top that doesn't transfer which I don't even understand how that's possible. We've seen that a lot recently with vinyl lipsticks, so lipsticks that have a very high, high, high shine, where once it dries down the base layer, the high shine will remain high shine and it's transfer proof. I'm thinking of like the Revlon color stay. I feel really like started that trend. Right now, Urban Decay has one, Lady Gaga has one. I feel like now that's the focus of products that are coming out. But what I haven't seen is a long wear transfer proof liquid lipstick that feels as moussey and smooth as something like this and remains creamy. It doesn't remain so creamy that like you can purse your lips together perfectly like you just freshly applied it, but it remains so, so comfortable and without that really harsh dry down. So it does have like a velvet texture, which I hope you can see, but it doesn't have that dry feeling. I think it's special. I mean, I, I think that's why I decided to share it. I was unsure, but really this one and the NARS one, they kind of remind me of one another, except that the NARS has a little more transfer, but they're both this kind of like long wear comfortable formula. 
And for someone like me who really doesn't like liquid lipsticks, both of them are just much more up my alley than let's say a real like transfer proof liquid lipstick. I hope that makes sense. I feel like in my mind they married well together, but maybe you will have other thoughts regarding it. Another thing I, I like of, about both of these is they have a limited range of colors. I think Linda Hallberg has like five colors and the NARS maybe has like eight or something like that. So I feel like you can find like one really, really good shade, maybe a two nice shades, but it's not like an overwhelming collection that makes you want to feel like you have to pick up a bunch. I don't know. Sometimes when I, when I see like 50 lipsticks in a collection, I feel like, oh, I have to at least have five of those 50. When I see only five in a collection, I'm typically really good with one and I appreciate it. I don't know. It's, it's a game, a game of numbers and ratios. I don't know how to explain it. So those are my thoughts for today. I hope you found that interesting. I feel like by now you all know the stuff I really like. And so maybe my declutter isn't going to be so shocking to you or possibly even just my reviews are no longer going to be so surprising to you because you know that I like what I like. I like comfortable lip formulas. I want us all to be comfortable. I don't want us to have reactions to fragrances. I feel like makeup is a beautiful thing, but it really should be made for the people that are gonna wear it and not just as a gimmick. And so these two products don't feel gimmicky to me. So thumbs up on both of them. If you enjoyed that, hit the thumbs up consider subscribing and clicking the bell for notifications so you find out when I post day 27. Anywho, I hope everyone is doing well. We're almost at the end of the week. Hang in there and we'll talk soon. Take care everyone. Bye. I forgot to show you that this thing was transfer proof. I'm sorry. Tiniest halo, tiniest halo. But to me, that's about as transfer proof as I need. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys. Okay, bye for real. <laughs>